Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we had a uh, bit of a side trek, I guess we could call it, to Kiev Mach, and couldn't get much farther than what we did in there. Uh, we also had a uh, personal fight between Yuri and Don. Well, I guess we call him the Don. And uh, Yuri got his butt kicked pretty handily. Um, I actually am at zero HP right now, basically, for Yuri. So we're going to rest at the inn real quick before I do anything, but apparently there was also another skit, so. I never would have thought Raven was a member of Altosk. It looked like he and the Don were close. The old man probably has a pretty important job. Maybe. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but he's probably yeah. one of Altosk's top officers. The fact that he can leave town on guild business shows the Don trusts him. That old man. You can't judge a book by its cover, Rita. Fishier and fishier. Mm -hmm. Fishier and fishier, you're not wrong. Alright, time to get a little rest for 400 gold. That ain't too bad. It's namely just so I can get the HP up. There we go. That's fine. Alright. And with that... I, uh, I forget where we should be going. It's just a normal fortune's market. Uh, double check that I know what they have. Um, synthesis. I already have that done. I already have that done. Okay, most of this I already had done. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I can't believe that old fogey beat me. Did you really plan on beating him? There's no way! He's a living legend! No one can take him down! Yeah, but being in shape like that at his age would be enough. I got nervous just hearing you were gonna fight him. Why is that? Most kids that square off against him end up in bed for a week with half a dozen broken ribs. What drunk told you that? It's the honest truth. Count your lucky stars he was in a sporting mood. I heard he herded up a hundred of those turtle monsters with the spiky shells and killed them all at once. And there's a legend that when Dongrest Barrier was failing, he took a chain and fixed it himself. No human could do that. But I'll beat him one day. I swear. You still planning on winning? That kid's a ball of stubborn pride. Yeah. That sounds like Yuri. Alright. Well... With that out of the way, I think I'm supposed to go into the town center again. Maybe. Maybe I'm just imagining that bit. Who knows? The tavern. I don't remember going into the tavern. But then again, I think the barrier was failing during the time I went past it. What is that hat? Okay, well, um, it seems we drove all the monsters away. I'm so relieved. Well, I bet, considering. Uh, okay. About what I expected, but I was hoping for someone to talk to. I guess not. Give me in a right direction or something. Welp, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just going to be guessing, really. <laughs> Guild Union HQ. Welp. Will this lead us in the right direction? I don't know. Okay, that's an egg... 
with what's looking like a chef's hat on it. I'm going to assume this is the one weird guy. You knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Guess you found me here pretty good. Game, I want you to understand. <laughs> I want you to understand something. There is no way I could not find you. You camouflage, quote unquote, as the weirdest possible things there's no way I couldn't notice the weirdest thing in the room okay okay all right all right teach you to cook as a reward good minestrone soup Okay, give you this so you can practice till we meet again. Bye, you freaking weirdo. All right, let's let's see what that minestrone does. Huh? It does increasing of magic defense. Okay, this is magic attack, physical defense, physical attack. HP and TP. Okay. Well. That says plenty. Here's a prison. Interesting. Beyond this point are the private rooms of union officials. If you are here to see the dawn, it's the last room. Gotcha. Well, then here we go. This is what we need to do. So you've come ah, back, have you? Yes. Yes, I have. And it looks like you got uh, our Flynn boy here. Yuri. Mm-hmm. Hello, Flynn. You two know each other? Yeah. A little bit. Yes. We're old friends. Yeah, you could say that. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. <laughs> he kind of kicked my ass <laughs> up and down the fucking forest. <laughs> Already, it's fine. It's fine. It's late enough in the episode. It's fine. It's fine. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Crossed now then, paths. What business did you have? A bit. All right. Well, now we're actually getting down to business. All right. Uh, uh, we came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. Well, Yuri came right out and said it. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. Okay, so the separate problem Flynn's trying to solve also involves Barbos. Welp, I'm moving my pillow, that's... If, if you can hear something, that's what it is. Um, well, You have a problem with him, too? Guess we'll find out what it is. We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Hmm. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos's example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. Hmm. Interesting thing you're requesting. Barbos. <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Oh. So not only is he pulling stunts in the Empire and stealing Blastia cores and whatnot, he's also been really testing the limits of the Don's patience. 
which is probably not the best thing to be doing. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. It might be. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. Mm-hmm. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. Nope. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Mm-hmm. Since we'll be cooperating with you, I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. Huh. If that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. That would be pretty useful. Especially if it's dealing with a rogue guild like the Blood Alliance. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Cool. Hey, send the message to Bellius. <laughs> Tell Bellius that Nordopolicus gonna help us. Nordopolicus? Man, this is serious. Yeah. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Mm-hmm. Read it aloud. Ooh. If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. Hmm. What? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Interesting. What? What is this? I think I'm more interested by how Flynn didn't know this was the play. Looks like you and the young master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap. Interesting. Flynn! Why would you... Hang on. If we screw up, it'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> true. Very true. All out war with the Empire! We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital. Try and make a fool out of me. I'll tear these little messengers limb from limb. Whoa. He's serious. Th this is bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, and it boy. looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. Uh, of course he did. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. Yeah, no, I think that uh that went flying out the window. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I don't know about that one. At this point, some action needs to be taken. To find out what happened and why. But I don't think we're going to find it out quickly. So it'll be a bit. I... I suppose you're right. Yeah. Uh, uh. Raven left the party. I cannot believe that Yoder would give a letter like that to Flynn. There must be some mistake. We've met His Highness too, and he certainly didn't seem like that kind of person. But you heard the letter! It said to take Don Whitehorse out of the picture! So maybe it was sent by someone who wants to throw a wrench into what Yoder and Flynn are doing. But that's nothing more than a hunch right now. Yeah, you're right. The only thing we know for sure right now is that Flynn is in trouble. That is true. That's all we know. And that's the important thing to focus on. Everything else we can figure out after. I guess. Okay, well, I can't go into the prison no more, can I? The dungeon is up ahead. There's a knight held captive there now. No one is allowed to enter beyond this point. Why am I not surprised? Who is this guy? I don't need a weakling like you. What the... What the fuck do you mean by that? Who the hell are you? Alright. You looked in the pot. Your 
face is turning red. Okay. Well, didn't expect that. I didn't even know that was a thing I could check. Alright. Welp. Guess we're just heading out now. Huh, that's strange. What's the matter, Yuri? It looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. Oh, don't tell me. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You wait here. Uh, okay. Don't take too long. Great. Alrighty. Now to go see how Flynn's holding up. Of course. Lied to everyone just so he could sneak in. Why am I not surprised? Alright. I guess we go back. Maybe. Yep, I guess I was right. We go back. We go into the prison. Yuri. Thought I was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. I wasn't being all that quiet. I was kind of running down here, but okay. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Hell no. Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. Probably the same expression that was on your face when you were locked up, you little shit. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. Fair? What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. If you were messed with by someone outside of your control, and... You were following directions to hand the letter to Don Whitehorse and no one else. Then it's not your fault. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. Yeah. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That would make, uh... That would make the election for the Imperial Candidate a little more convoluted. That'd Interesting. be bad. Yeah! You think another one of those false letters went to the knights? That actually sounds likely. Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. Mm -hmm. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. It's come down to the... Uh, Dirty levels like the rest of us. You've got to stay here. What? What are you talking you be about? Your scapegoat? Yeah, no. You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back... Don't you start. You'll have to die in my place. What? Yeah. Um... Huh? <laughs> Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son. This eh. is coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Yeah. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? 
<laughs> if I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Ah, so you're setting a trap for the person who tried to set the trap. Hmm. I like it. <laughs> Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. Ah, that's fair. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. Okay. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? He's asking so he has some perspective to put against his own. That sounds like Yuri. I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you were on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So, if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is, and put everything you've got to change in the system. Or, you can turn your back on the Empire, and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear cut. Yeah. Yep. I think you're going to have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find them? Your job Sounds is like to it. pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young Fair lady brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Yeah, no, you're right. Estelle. Huh. That sounds like her. Yeah, it does. Mm. The fact I can just freely walk out of the cell. It's locked and will probably stay that way. Shut your hole and leave me be. Okay. Fair enough, my guy. Fair enough. Alright. Dips, I almost did the same stupid thing I did last time. Alright. Head out and try to regroup. Out of the way! The dawn is passing through. Okay. Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? Seems like it. We'll teach those imperial bastards to look down on us. Oh, Yuri! Yep. Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The <laughs> dawn told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, we kind of no, noticed. No, that's not what I mean. What do you mean? What else? I saw them. Them? You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now. Interesting. Just what the Dawn wanted. Let's catch up with Rita. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Reunite with Estelle and Carol. All right. Where were you talking with the Don, Yuri? You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? Mm -hmm. No, it's nothing like that. No. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Dawn planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Dawn and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yep. Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now the Dawn's <laughs> making me do his dirty work. What a pain. I like you don't like it. Shut up. Shut up, Yuri. Shut up. You know what you're doing. Alright. Maybe... I don't know. I don't think so. 
we're supposed to be finding Rita, who was shadowing the Blood Alliance. Could be in any direction. There. Right there. Okay. Rita. Yes. Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there... Then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? Yeah, true. What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Well, hello, Raven. Oh, it's you again. Yep. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay. But the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. All right, that's fair. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? Uh, we don't have the time to... Oh, come on. You sound like you think I'm going to trick you. I mean, if anything, you're definitely going to delay us in what we're trying to do, but... <sighs> well, you have tricked us before. Yeah, true. I can handle getting tricked a couple times. But there a are limits times. to my patience, old man. Yep. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Yeah, you know. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way. All right. Away we go. Unite with Rita and Rapide. Now we head to the tavern. Away from the Blood Alliance. Yeah. All right. Yep, just as lively as it was when I came in here. The last time. We're coming through. Okay. So we go into the side room. What is this place? Just a place that Don has for drinking with important guests and having secret conversations. Ah. Makes sense. Are you telling us just to stay here and drink? If your friend comes back with the real letter, things could be settled peacefully. Sorry, but I can't let Flynn hog all the glory. Yeah, no, that's fair. We need to find the criminal behind all of this trouble. If that happens to be Barbos... Easy now. Haste makes waste. Haste makes waste, huh? Okay, is that a door? What's this? There are sewer tunnels that sprawl in a labyrinth beneath this town. Mm-hmm. Long ago, when the town was occupied by the Empire, the guilds used these tunnels to fight back. Wait! Don't tell me this place is connected to those sewer tunnels! Yep, it is! That's exactly what it is. And Makes our sense. plan is to use them to sneak right up behind those guys. Mm. Quickly sneak in and catch them, huh? It's a bit of a detour, but it's the best chance we got. That it is. That's the idea. Aren't you glad you trusted me? I won't know that until it's all over. True. So, you still don't trust me, huh? Not particularly. Not yet. Not until all of this completely pans out. Naturally, you'll be coming with us too, right, old man? Aw, oh, crap. And I was totally planning on skipping town. Yeah, I believe you there. That was sarcasm. You little shit. I'm saying we want to share the glory with you, old man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Play into the joke. Okay, sure. Raven, rejoin the party. Wahoo. Oh, it's pitch black. Whoa. I'd rather not get lost in here and never see the light of day again. Yeah, that would suck. Yo, genius mage girl, can you use some fire magic and light up this place? Why did you say it like that? Are you trying to use me as your personal lamp? You've got some nerve, old man. I mean... Rita, isn't there something you can do? It wasn't just personal. Hmm. Nope. Fire magic is only used for combat. Hmm. For us to have continuous illumination, air would need to be constantly supplied. Like Lux Blastia. Huh. Really? You weren't counting on that, were you, old man? Clearly not. Hmm, is this a Blastia? It's seriously damaged, but I think we can use it. Well, that would be useful. Hey! Whoa! Isn't 
that thing gonna explode? Are we okay? Carol, calm down, please. Of course it's not gonna explode. This is a type of Luxplastia. It uses that device to charge air and light up. Hmm. I knew you could do it, Rita. But it's on its last leg, so I don't think it'll last too long. Fair enough. Let's get moving while we still got light. There we go. Lux Blastia. Portable light source found by Rapide. Keep it full of air to continue using it. What's up, Puffer? You need something? It's dark, so you'll get lost Kay. if you stray too far. Thanks for worrying about me, lass, but I'll be fine. It's so dank in here. I hope we don't have to stay too long. It may be dank, but at least the bustle is gone. I prefer the quiet of these tunnels. Uh, right. I'll never be able to keep up with your sensitivities. That's fair. Oh, repeat. Do you know where Raven went? Hey, Coochie. Where'd you... Ugh. Ow! Ah. <clears throat> there goes the quiet you were talking about. Yep. Yes, well... I've become accustomed to it. <laughs> Stop jabbering about customs and help an old man out. <laughs> well, that was funny. All right. Um, just want to make sure I get the party uh, set up the way I want. Um, doo -doo, there we go. Better. All right. Now we head forward. 3,000 gold. Damn. Monsters! Um, they won't attack us, will they? We shouldn't have anything to worry about. Yeah. Uh, the light. We need to charge up some air before it goes out. Oh. What the? Added difficulty if you're out of... If you're out of light... Monsters will attack. Gotcha. Oh, man. All right, let's go. Ow. Come on, wind. Come on, there we go. Oh, Caprice of innocent waters. Okay. Purity. Pierce Cluster. That'll be a hundred years before you can be well, me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. That worked out better than I expected. I just, you know, had to focus that on was the scary. combat. I never expected monsters to wait for us to drop our guard before an attack. Yep. There's no way any monster is that smart. Perhaps they're weak against light or something? Yep. There are monsters mm -hmm. like that? There are indeed. Creatures that live in dark places such as caverns in the ocean floor sometimes have an aversion for yep. light and work hard to avoid it. I, I guess I skipped that a little too early, my bad. But, uh... All right. Makes so sense. that's why they didn't attack when it was bright. Thank you, Carol, for finally catching up to what I already assumed about three minutes ago. Oh, there's another one of those machines! Which is good. That's how we charge it with air? Is you hold it to oh, something that looks how interesting. broken? So we just need to be careful to recharge the lamp before it runs out of juice. I guess so. <clears throat> interesting. Blastium ore. Useful for make used for making items with magic. Well, that makes sense. Blastium ore. Whoop! Ah, uh, crap. Oh, Jesus! That's like our formation all over them. the place. This is awesome. This what do you mean? This is awesome. There we go. There we go. Uh, that was an adorable sound out of the dog. I'm sorry. Uh, blah. Gotta love that. Dog shaking their head. Usually makes them say weird noises like that. Make weird noises, rather. Okay, replenish. 
Make sure it's all topped off. And... No, no, no. Oh, you... Oh, man. All right, Damn all right. Damn it. All right. Ow. Ow. Come on. Ow. Ow. There we go. Little. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Ooh. Next week? Oh, I no, feel so powerful. Stop, stop that. Stop That's that. the logical outcome. The logical outcome. It's interesting that's that what that that's what she's starting to say now. It's a logical outcome. All right, whatever you say. Oh, I forgot to top those off. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, well, went the wrong way, so might as well replenish now before I head out. There we go. Ah, crap. Alright, well, might as well head over here, get that. <sighs> oh, man. Alright, let's go. I was about to say, they forced the encounter to let me recharge the thing. Nurse. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Booyah. What the hell was hey, no nurse? something? I'm kind of curious what nurse was. Uh, that was an arts for her nurse. It's an intermediate spell. All right. Summon an angel. We got angels now? Alright. Um, hmm. Angels. Angels to help restore a medium amount of HP. Okay. Alright. I guess. I guess that's a thing. Alrighty. There we go. A battle guard. Ah, crap. Sorry if I hurt you. Okay. Ow. There we go. There we go. And Nurse is running around again, giving us a little bit of help. I love that. That was easy. Perfect. I am getting very good at the combat now. Well, I mean, with the help of Estelle keeping me alive, but nonetheless. Huh. Hmm, there's something carved here. Words? What is this? Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people, and thus became the true defenders of freedom. Huh. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, 
We must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey! Isn't that the Union Oath? Mm, yes, what is that? it is. I guess. It's like a slogan that the Dawn came up with when he formed the Union. Hmm. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? Good question. The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. Probably. So that's when they made the oath here? I guess so. Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. Well, now we all know. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. Yeah. It says, I freed right here. I freed. Oh yeah, that infamous king of the pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally. But he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. Really? The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Yeah. Our lives for the common good, huh? Yeah. Lives for the common good. I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now. Let's go. Exactly. Our swords for freedom, huh? The Union Oath, right? Fighting for personal freedom instead of draconian imperial law sounds good to me. If you feel that way, maybe the guilds are right for you, Yuri. Huh? Yeah, I wasn't cut out to be a knight. Yeah. Huh? huh? You agree, repeat? <laughs> yeah, of course he does. The guilds, huh? Yep. Well, I think that cements the uh, idea that we're going to be doing the guilds in the near future. That very much cements the idea. Alrighty, well we have a safe point here, which means it's probably for the best that I end the episode. And, uh, how about that? It's almost nearly the full time of an episode. Wahoo! So, time to end it, I guess. <laughs> With everything I need to think about that's happened so far in the story. So, Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. Jesus, I goofed up on my outro, but it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's been the one young... <laughs> wow. Near the end of the episode, and I'm falling apart. This has been the one, the only stray cat playing games. Apparently losing my mind. Uh, dying. And uh, processing the fact that these tunnels were used very recently in the struggle against the Empire from the guilds. And apparently Don Whitehorse was the first real leader of the whole thing from all the way back then. And now we're going to be figuring out how to deal with a rogue element of the guilds and make it kind of work out. But then also find out the hell's going on with the trickery we were thrown into. There's a lot. There's a lot going on for you.